badges. On paper, a very simple way to progress on Origin Realms. You get a task, you complete it and get the reward. But it's not that easy, so let's look into it. The main problem with badges was the difficulty of the tasks. Often, players just got very hard or annoying quests and it really discouraged them from grinding more. And since essential content like the auction house runes and relics was blocked behind badges, most players just quit the war before reaching the fun content. Dedicated players, however, didn't receive enough reward for their effort. There was a streak system, but the reward stopped increasing after day 25. And if you missed a day, the streak would reset. That condition made badges feel like a chore. It was time consuming and unfun. So this is why badges are getting a complete rework. Oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, I just got the info. Badges are getting removed. Yep, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, completely removed. This in turn means that your player level is gone, reduced to atoms. You'll still however have it displayed in your profile menu. So there's that. Now some of you might ask, well why did I waste so much time on badges? Is all of my progress gone? Don't worry, nothing will be lost. Everyone will receive a compensation. In fact, you can get your compensation right now. Simply speak to Badger near his new cabin and you'll receive your items. The rewards are tier based. The higher your level is, the more rewards you unlock. From level 1, you get a badger crate key and a badger rug decoration. From level 11, you get a sash banner and two more badger keys. From level 26, you get the exclusive jumbo badger plushie and three more badger keys. From level 51, you get the exclusive adventure hat cosmetic. From level 76, you get the firefly lantern prop. And unlike other cosmetics, the firefly lantern also produces firefly particles. From level 91, you get the adventure pack cosmetic. You can also use a special gesture while wearing it. And finally, players who reach level 100 will get the untradeable badger balloon. This will truly show your dedication. Now the compensation isn't the only thing left of badges. The streak system wasn't removed, in fact, it was changed to be easier. Badger will now offer you a simple patch task. He'll ask you to bring him three random items in different quantities. Completing the task will increase your streak by one. If it was your first task, you'll also get the fruits of labor balloon for free. The special thing about this balloon is that it increases in size every 10 streaks. Badges isn't the only problem that got fixed this update. Admins also tackled another difficult issue. Event tools. Now at first glance you might say that there are no problems with them, but let me explain. Firstly, event tools had no durability, so they couldn't break. This was a bit cheaty and made enchantments like unbreaking and mending irrelevant. Secondly, event tools were severely unfair for free-to-play players. While paying players could simply buy event keys and get unbreakable tools, newbies needed to work for their gear. And finally, it's more of a personal problem, but it was really hard deciding between relic and event tools. So what did Origin Realms devs do? They fixed all of the problems. All event tools you get from crates are now swapped for tool skins. Via Boulder in the Fracture Forge, you'll be able to apply those skins to any tool you want, be it a regular or a relic tool. But what happens to the already existing event tools? Don't worry, they still retain their infinite durability because now they're converted into legendary tools. And since legendary keys will soon be gone from the shop, you will only be able to get unbreakable tools from gameplay. And the final major thing added in this update are woodland mansions. They are a bit smaller than their vanilla counterpart, but look way fancier. War mansions have several variations and lots of secrets inside of them. The mansions are much more common now, so I managed to find one pretty fast. We need to find our way to the attic. It has some valuable goodies. I assume that there are also chests around the mansion. So it'll be useful to check them first. Let's just get this one. Not bad. That's decent. We're getting closer. And the famous attic chest. It's so great! Must be my luck. Woodland mansions can also sometimes have basements. The LA's are imprisoned here. Let me just get rid of these guys. You're free. Now I wonder what's here. Oh, wither roses. Nice. And a chest. 
My luck today is spot on. Okay, I guess that's enough of Woodland Mansions for today. Well, uh, that was a bit anticlimactic. I've pretty much shown everything that this update has, but there are also a lot of quality of life changes, like snails now appearing from fallen logs, azalea trees in lush caves, ruby traits now being available, and many more. For all of the changes added in this update, you can check the link in the description. And that was all, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.